Okay, this is DaVinci Resolve 16 Tips and Tricks. So basically, I am making the transition from Premiere CC to Resolve. Um, the transition is not as bumpy as I thought it was. Resolve is a really nice package, but what I what I've encountered, there have been some walls, there are some differences, so the whole point of this is to record my solutions um, to these problems, put them together for, for later, um, in case I forget, and in case any of you out there um, want some just really succinct, to the point um, descriptions on how to do things. All right? With that in mind, let's try and make this as quick as possible. One of the problems I've got is that there's no selection tool for uh, select all forward or select all backwards like there is in Adobe Premiere. Um, but you can do this here. Um, you can select it you know, all manually and move across, etc., etc. But there's a keystroke which is which is Y for selecting forward, and then Control Y for selecting behind. Now, what it does, you notice that it actually selects the clip you're on and anything backwards. If we go Y again, it's the clip you're on, anything forward. Um, and that will allow you to select it. That will select it on the single track. Um, if you add a control to that, control on a Y, you will also select the, um, the other track layers as well. But normally, that's enough for me. Now, as a sort of additional tip, I use... Um, a razor keypad product this little bad boy where are we here we go um, this is fantastic I've been using the premiere for a long time so uh, uh, and it speeds up the cutting process dramatically so the layout I've got on here is pretty straightforward you've got you know, uh, stop play forward reverse etc etc but what I like to do is just below the reverse and the forward is to put the selection tools down here um, I have a whole bunch of selection tools on the side, but I quite like having the ones I don't use quite as often down here. You could, if you want, uh, do what I do and have a, that button here on the side key mapped to a complete, um, assigned to a completely different key map. So when you press this button, all of this will change um, to a completely different layout. Um, which is what I've done. The, so, so my top used commands are all here, my second used commands are down here, um, and I generally don't need anything else, everything else is fine. So I've got it all pretty well streamlined at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. I would hardly recommend getting one of these keypads. This um, orb weaver, weaver that I've got is it's a fairly old one. It was a little bit expensive um, outlay wide, but I've had it now for four or five years. Mechanical switches never let me down. Quality product, and you get this little thing, which is good because you can tie all your products and keystrokes together. This is well worth doing. Anyway, very simple, very straightforward. Um, once again, Y to select forward, Control Y to select back. You can also set up these as keystrokes by using the keyboard customization option up here on the left hand side under the Resolve menu. Um, um, the search function is not very good. In this keyboard customization thing. So if I sort of select forward, for example, select if I can type correctly, nothing really comes up. You know, it's um, it's not great. I find a better, a better solution by clicking on the Y, click on here, and that will give you the different options: select clips forward and clips, uh, select clips back. I've got this keyboard set up. Um, when you set up Resolve, it gives you the option to set it up as Resolve keystrokes with Premiere for ease of use. I went for Premiere um, because I know where, where I'm at. So it's very minimal customization for me. But I would definitely say, if Black Magic, if you're listening to this, sort this this search bar out. It just doesn't work. It's not good at all. Like I should be able to select all all commands. Oh, actually, maybe I'm going to eat my own words here. Select. You know what? I'm an idiot. I, um, I tried selecting all applications. Don't select all commands. See, I'm learning. It's good. It's all good. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to close that and save that now. That's it. Really simple tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'll put more up as, as I encounter more problems. Goddy.
sexy, isn't it? 